Many of our clients ask us how we did this work. Today we'll explain in detail how we did it and so that you can take a picture either from the internet, from your photo albums or as in this example from a video frame. So you can take something like this and make it like this. So without more to say, let's get started. Once we have selected our photo, we will import it to Photoshop and the first tool that we will use will be Subject, which is in Select option. Once PS automatically select the subject or in this sample, the dog, we return to the select option and choose select and mark. This selection will allow us to enter this new PS 2019 tool. But let us get a better profile and select the dog's hair much better. I will choose this brush and I will select the dog's edge. Once I finish the dog's hair selection, I will switch to a smoothing brush to give the dog's hair more profile. Remember that with the view tool, we can change the color of the background and with the opacity tool, we can change the intensity of the background. That will help us to work better when selecting our dog's hair. Once we finish the selection, we can cut and then we change our background to white. Pressing Ctrl J, we are going to make a copy of the new layer and we are going to desaturate this new layer. For that, we must go to the Image option, Adjustment, Desaturate, or press Shift Ctrl U. We will also create a copy of this new layer, pressing again Ctrl J and then we go to the setting options and we select the option Invert. We will go to this option called Normal and we will look for the third option of our third box and we are going to select the option Doge Color. The photo will look white and with nothing inside, so here we have to right click in our layer and choose the option convert to smart object. Once the object is converted to smart object, we will go to the filter option and choose Gisanian Blur. And with the option that this function give us, we will move the radius or Gisanian size to convert our photo to make the photo looks like draw by hand with a pencil. Once I leave my photo convert to drawing, I will export as a JPG and then take it to Adobe Illustrator where I will give it a last process to finally convert to vector and export it as a SVG. After opening Adobe Illustrator and adjusting my image in the center of the workspace, I will click on my tool Trace.
Then I will choose the option tracing result without outlines. And in the advanced options, we will select the option ignore whites. After this, we can adjust the saturation of the image to achieve a much more vector figure. Now, in our image tracing bar, we will select the option Expand. After choosing Apply, we will be able to eliminate the black inner color and give black color only to the drawing's edge. I will reduce the line's thickness and my file is now ready to be exported as an SVG file easy to engrave with our BCF laser. For the export of this file, I suggest you leave it as we see on the screen so in that way we are not gonna have any issue with the laser formatting. Sometimes we can't see the advanced options, so you can click on more options to be able to adjust the parameters of the export format. Now we open ESCAD software and we import our SVG file already previously created with Adobe Illustrator. And the first thing we are going to do is centralize it and then I will make it smaller so that it fits right in my dog's collar. Once I adjust the size and position, I apply the fill with my hatch tool, which will only will be filled with one option. For this type of coated steel, I'll use a speed of 200, a power of 70% and a frequency of 780 to achieve a deep black. After this we adjust our material just below the sensor to allow the machine to adjust the distance and then I will press F1 to see previously the engraving area. After the whole process is done we press F2 and let the machine finish its work. I hope this video is useful for you, if you like this video please subscribe to our YouTube channel, we have videos like this every week and see you in the next video.